everyone, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and today I'm going to be changing out the liner on the Belly Goat Debris Loader. So let me show you the liner, let me show you how it goes in. Belly Goat Debris Loader and you see that little sticker right there? Check for placeable liner for wear before each use. I guarantee that was not checked by the previous owner. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I didn't do a video on removing the old one, but there wasn't much left to show. Guys, it was just in pieces. It was completely eaten through in the bottom, which is why I had to weld in some new metal in the bottom because it had eaten through the liner and then ate through the housing. So, so this is that liner. This is what it looks like, brand new. And what it is is about a quarter inch thick, probably exactly a quarter inch thick. And it's like a nylon material. It's uh, it's pretty flexible so you know you can see it conforms to the shape of the blower so it's gonna be kind of hard to do one-handed but basically I've got my elbow off of the top and then I uh, removed the front piece which is where your hose attaches to so that I've got a nice full view so I'm gonna try to do this one-handed and video it for you guys um, <clears throat> There's no front or back because the holes are already pre-drilled, but they're drilled equally on each end, so I don't have to worry about which end goes in first. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this in from the top. Okay, so you can see I'm just feeding it down through the through the tube. And it's already it's already down in here. And then basically we're just gonna work it on around. So combination of you know, pushing and okay. It's really hard to do one-handed, but basically you just have to get it worked around. Okay, and then what it's going to do is it's going to go until it stops. There's a metal plate right here that's also replaceable. That metal plate goes up to here and you can kind of see the end of it it's got two more bolts in the end of it up there anyways that uh, that plate just kind of directs the flow of material and then it's replaceable whenever it wears out um, but where the end of it is at right there is where this is going to stop so now what i need to do and actually I'll show you from this side so you can see the hole actually lines up Okay, so now I just need to grab the, the bolts and I'm going to start here and I'll go ahead and, uh, and get those in. I'll, I'll probably put all of the bolts in, get the, uh, get the nuts and washers on hand tight, and then starting here I'll tighten it up and work my way around. But uh, let me grab the hardware and show you what that looks like. So anyways, you can see what this liner does. It literally just lines the inside of the housing and that is what gets wore out first so pay attention to this if you have one of these debris loaders now this one is I believe it's a 2015 model 2016 model so you know it's it's had at least five good years of use and I would say probably pretty heavy use it was a it was a commercial um, company that I bought this from and they had two of these and they've got a, a newer bigger system that you know makes this look like uh makes it makes this look like a toy so so there's no telling how many hours of use they put on it which is fine you know i knew what i was getting um, and i don't mind doing a little bit of work on something if it saves me some money so anyway let me get the bolts nuts washers so i can show you what the hardware looks like Okay guys, so this is what it is. It's an Allen head screw, pan head screw, and uh, or bolt, I guess rather, with a washer on it. And those, those come with it, and then a vinyl lock nut. <clears throat> and so I've got the first two, first two in there, next two, next two, next two. So I've just got the last bolt to put in. And all of them lined up fine. Um, didn't have to use any special tools or anything. And all I'm going to need to tighten them up is my Allen wrench that fits the, the head. So I'll hold that on the inside. 
and then I'll be using my uh, this is half inch I believe yeah half inch impact on the outside to tighten them up and like I said before we're just gonna start up here and then I'll kind of hold the hold the slack out of the middle when I do the next two you know until I work my way all around get them all tightened up and then the liner will be done and uh, my next step on this is just to go ahead and put the tube on and put the uh, elbow up on top and start working on my leaf box I'm hoping to uh, in the next week have that done have it all put together set up where I can test it out I have a uh, leaf cleanup to go do actually a spring cleanup and it's going to be piles of wet leaves so I mean and by wet I mean they've been setting there since last fall so it'll be a good test for this thing so as always guys thanks for watching get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one